many leave here with a positive result. Bob Lilly's boys continue to keep the fortress walls high and strong here at Highmark, and we are underway with Pittsburgh defending on the left-hand side of your screen on ESPN+. Plus. About getting to that level, he's at that level now, and he's been so productive for this Riverhounds team. We'll see if we get to see him later on in the match. Cicerone puts a header on target as he was able to really redirect that well. So take a look at Cicerone's header from earlier. Cicerone so close, redirects it, but you can hear Coach Lilly screaming at his team structure. He wants his team to be sound defensively. When Sacramento picks up the ball defensively, they do a good job to win it back. Ball into the middle for show on me. And he touches it over the top of Vitiello's goal. That was all started by Griffin. Aided a bit in the second half. Bob Lilly talked to us about it. Wants more of what happened in the first half to play out here tonight. DZ Harmon gets past one. And his cross into the middle is deflected away by Desmond, and it's out for a Riverhounds corner. Pittsburgh has to find opportunities inside the box. From the corner, Griffin curling one, but it was always going wide of the goal. They'll try it again with Fiadair on the far side. Now Blackstock is there on the defensive cover. And he lingered a little bit too much with his touch, or was it Ibarra in there? It's Ibarra who's been booked. From the corner, Forbes to the near post. It's headed on, and it's headed wide. Joey Farrell nearly finding the back of the net. He just misses the target. Great opportunity for the Riverhounds, laying themselves out. Watch as this ball comes inside. All it needs to do is be redirected, and it's such an awkward position for the Riverhounds. The goal, the goal scoreline, I should say, remains unchanged for now. This pass is picked off by Forbes. Forbes sliding in. Tola, show on me! And it's saved rather comfortably in the end by Danny Vitiello. But not able to get his hips around it to put it on frame. No matter who comes here, even on the big nights, the not-so-big nights, if you will, the fans are always here. It's always a great atmosphere at Highmark, and the fans should be credited for that as this is going to be a yellow card here for a rash challenge against Connor Donovan, the veteran here. So comfortable in playing backwards if they need to and waiting for those outlets making Sacramento chase. Forbes. Ball goes out wide. Etu keeps it in play and Vitziello palms it. DZ Harmon went for the spectacular and sends it over the top good spot but unfortunately it's bouncing awkwardly watches E2 does a great job to continue his run as he passes that one cross and Harmon with the late run watches that initial ball if he could have brought it down before the player comes inside would have been able to get that one on the River Hounds ask so much from their forward so in the second half they have to be a little bit more clinical dynamic a little bit yeah, unpredictable with time. their movement to open up that space for them to try and score Ball was cleared only as far as Rivera. Another chance to recycle possession. Forbes curls it in for Dequa. And Dequa misses the target. As he comes near post, not able to redirect that ball because he's a little too close to near post. And as this ball comes inside, does a good job to find themselves over the hump and continue to be in that one or two spot to make sure they make the playoffs. Marauding run here from Ordonez, who almost got all the way through. Ibarra tries to keep the attack alive. Just feels like we're a moment away from this game really being taken up a notch. Arshamed, can he provide that moment? It's a brilliant ball in behind. Cicerone, great layoff. Viadere misses the target better from Sacramento. Watch as Villadere just holds his run and it builds up centrally. The ball gets dropped outside the 18 and Villadere is right there using his instep so he has better control until the very end because the Riverhounds are going to continue to try and get Dequa the ball. Oh, that's touched into the path of Albert Dequa. Albert Dequa in for Pittsburgh. Vitiello stops him. It's it was a great free run by Dequa, not able to get the initial shot. And watch how the Riverhounds continue to get numbers forward. And Easton Blackstock finds Dequa. Griffin's in support for Pittsburgh. Nice run here from Griffin, gets to the byline. Cross into the middle is a good one. The header is down, and Vitiello saves it from Robbie Mertz. It's also where their season ended last year as well, Pittsburgh. 
at Lynn Family Stadium, but there's still plenty of business to deal with here. That is a challenge from Dequa. Well, with 10 minutes left, it's probably worth mentioning that in the live table, if this stays the way it is now, as Pittsburgh does win a free kick here and a yellow card is out, Kalen Radisov is going to present a yellow to the substitute, Johnny Fenwick. Both sides have been so organized in this game that a lot of it's going to be played inside the 18s because it's going to become part of a chess match and that's what we've seen. However, the River Hounds have had more opportunities in the final third. There is going to be left. We're told there might be a big chunk. Here's Biasi. Biasi sliding it through. It's back to Biasi! Parried away by Vitziello. Sosa clears. Watches this ball gets played inside by Biasi, and he just continues his run, but he makes sure that he gets on the other shoulder of the... They dropped a point in the 96th minute. Could have taken home a win, but it was a great strike for RGV. So this is where Sacramento knows they have to be clinical and locked in defensively. Kekko that time, not as composed, gives away a free kick to Luke Biasi. Well, this might be the last chance, the last big chance of the game. Pittsburgh's unbeaten run is still just about at stake, but you see Kecko booked there for descent. It's Sac Republic's throw. Pittsburgh wanted that. But it's going to stay with the visitors here. And a yellow card has come out at the tail end of that play against Pittsburgh, it looks like. We've had the six added minutes. Referee puts the mouth, I should say his whistle to his mouth. And that is that in Pittsburgh. Somehow, someway, after all the chances between these two, it's another nil-nil.